Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is after probably 30 days uh, from the previous video and this is the largest gap that I've given uh, since I've opened this channel uh, since the last four years almost uh, and that's due to my final semester examinations at IIT Kharagpur and I'm almost ending my stint at IIT Kharagpur. I'm going to make a, a separate video on that uh, about the entire journey that has been there uh, but today's video is specifically about the exam pattern because I have just been through the examinations of uh, ID Kharagpur and uh, I've just uh, you know uh, given the examination so I know exactly how it happens so I'm going to break it into sectors for the uh, odd semesters and the even semesters and how much pressure is there in the examinations uh, uh, apart from the examinations what are the other structures of submissions uh, that you are expected to give uh, so extremely apologetic about not being able to release one video over the last uh, one month I know that you have been uh, waiting for it but uh, um, since there was the grand viva and my health was also not well and uh, I had to get the final examinations at IIT Kharagpur as well uh, i couldn't make a video but today when i am here i'm uh, going to discuss about the exam pattern so let's go straight away to the odd semesters that is the first semester third semester fifth semester and seventh semester if you are a btech and if you're in masters uh, you know first and third semester only uh, so in the first and third semester it spans between the uh, months of uh, august to uh, November so August September October November and in the month of December you get a holiday of uh, almost a month uh, mostly the examinations will wrap up by the end of November and the mid sims uh, is expected to happen around the month of uh, September uh, just before uh, the university closes for uh, uh, the puja holidays so IIT Kharagpur in uh, particular it has the custom of closing for a week uh, during the pujas and I think uh, Durga Puja uh, I think there is uh, the, the, none of the other institutes have this, uh, you know, uh, uh, Durga Puja holiday of seven days. And just before the Durga Puja holiday of seven days, it tries to wrap up the uh, mid semester examinations. Uh, uh, so, mid sems mostly happens around uh, September end, and again, end sems happen around uh, November mid to end. And uh, the pattern of evaluation mostly by most of the faculties are 30% weightage to uh, mid sems and 50% weightage to uh, uh, final semesters and 20% weightage to uh, class attendance, class performance, assignments, projects, presentations, and etc. etc. Uh, but some of the professors do change this pattern. They, uh, like one of the subjects that we had this semester, uh, named ISRM and Information uh, uh, Security and Risk Management, uh, we had this pattern where the, the teacher uh, divided into 25% uh, uh, weightage to mid sems and then uh, uh, about a 15% weightage to uh, projects and assignments and uh, about again 15% uh, I think uh, 10 or 15% weightage on uh, a separate quiz uh, that is to be taken in the class itself and rest of the percentage uh, would be going to the final semester that is about 40%. So different uh, teachers or different professors have their different evaluating patterns but mostly it's 30 percent mid sims 50 percent end sims and 20 percent uh, uh, class performance projects and assignments uh, uh, mostly the mid semester uh, syllabus the syllabus up to mid sem is not included in the end sem but for some teachers again professor specific uh, some of the teachers do prefer the fact that entire syllabus and not only this semester syllabus but across all the semesters also uh, get a glimpse of that you are expected to know what you have learned over the accumulated and learned over the semesters and deliver in the, the particular semester that you are working in so uh, if you are in third semester some of the professors might say that the syllabus includes everything in the third semester and including uh, second and first semester things as well which you would be required to apply in the third semester knowledge as well uh, so this is the final semester uh, syllabus generally for most of the professors doesn't include the mid sem syllabus or the previous years uh, previous semester syllabus but for some professor specific who, who expects you to know what you learned throughout uh, they said the syllabus that mid sems uh, before the mid sems also the syllabus included after the mid sems also syllabus is included so syllabus is basically everything that you have learned throughout the coursework till that semester uh, for some professors it is for the entire semester so it depends it is very professor specific once again uh, mostly the exam center again uh, Takshashila, Vikramshila and Nalanda these are the three places that mostly the examinations happen uh, if you are 
new to this culture of examination at IIT Kharagpur, go and locate uh, the the classrooms before the examination because it it gets quite annoying and difficult to locate the classrooms because the complex where the examination, particularly in Ralanda complex where the examinations do happen mainly, is extremely extremely large and there are more than uh, 400 rooms and it's very difficult to actually locate your particular room. So if you are wondering where your room is, go and locate it prior to uh, the examination. That would be one of the suggestions if you're new to the pattern. And once you do locate, you will understand that there are certain patterns. If there is a uh, one, like 412 is the room number, uh, that uh, one in the mid middle signifies that the room is gonna be at the back side. If it is 422, in the middle signifies it's going to be in the front side near subway and uh, like this it is bifurcated and you will uh, understand also there are two types of classrooms nc that is circular not in the circular classroom and uh, nr that is rectangular in uh, another rectangular classroom so you locate the classrooms prior to that try to decode the pattern and accordingly you try to sit bit sims and instance weightage as i have already discussed the scores i have already discussed the span of the examination is generally two weeks and it the examinations generally start around uh, Tuesday of uh, of, a, of a week. So Tuesday to Friday and then Monday to next Friday. So examination spans over a period of uh, four days of the first week and uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, Sunday is a holiday and uh, then Monday to Friday, five days. So nine days are dedicated to the examinations generally, be it mid or be it end -sems. and uh, some of us do have, uh, like for MBA, the curriculum is very rigorous in the sense that we have a lot of subjects in a semester examination. Uh, we have 13 subjects out of which uh, one or two subjects will not have their examinations as such. Uh, like there's some project or assignment that you need to do or uh, there is this grand viva that will be added as a subject and there will be then some simulation games which will be played on computers and will not necessarily have their end semester of mid semester examinations on written paper but uh, say around 11 uh, or 12 papers do actually are, uh, are are conducted offline on papers so that makes around uh, one subject plus uh, per day plus uh, some days having two examinations as well. The slots for the mid semesters are gonna be uh, nine to 11. Uh, for the morning slot and uh, for the for the evening slot it's uh, two to four uh, and then again for the final semester it's a three hour examination it is nine to twelve and uh, two to five for mid sims two hours nine to eleven and two to four uh, for the end sims nine to twelve and two to five so some of the days in the end semesters might be so hectic that you will be having two exams consecutively and uh, with no gaps in between because earlier day also you are giving one examination and then you need to come and study for you know uh, two examinations uh, happening consecutively from 9 to 12 and then again from 2 to 5 and this is the rigor of the MBA course in particular for the other batches for BTEC for law the curriculum is a little less rigorous but the subjects are much more difficult to be very honest uh, but they get a lot of uh, time maybe one day or two days gap in between because they have only six examinations spanning over a period of nine uh, days uh, apart from the exams that are centrally conducted and the papers being regulated, there are certain rules and criteria written on the admit card itself. Some of the examinations are departmental as well, where the, uh, say the electives in particular. So uh, if you have taken an elective where the number of students are less than 40 or 30 and or 50, uh, given a certain bar, uh, if the number of students are less than 50, you cannot conduct that examination centrally. Or even if the professor don't want to conduct that exam centrally, they can uh, conduct conduct it separately, maybe they want uh, computer access which is not available in the written paper uh, for that subject, uh, maybe the test has to be given on computers, on excel sheets or on python, uh, so they can conduct, they can be conducted separately and uh, then you see some having less than 50 people registered for the elective and that is a departmental subject. So these are all departmental subjects and has to be conducted by the departmental professor themselves, booking slots, booking rooms uh, by themselves and that will not happen centrally. So uh, again, out of the 11 subjects, maybe some eight to nine subjects, uh, depending on the subjects that you have taken, um, might be uh, central and two to three subjects will always be departmental, which will be conducted in the departmental uh, halls. Uh, so that kind of uh, kind of defines how the exam structure 
is a ride kind of food. Sometimes it can get really, really hectic uh, because uh, there will be departmental examinations, then there will be double examinations on certain days. Even one departmental and one central examination can fall on the same day. In the morning slot, maybe you are giving a central examination and then in the afternoon slot, you are giving the departmental examination. Uh, completely depends on the professor and the kind of electives that you select. Uh, some of uh, 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 our uh, candidates do have a spread uh, spread examination schedule like for me it was one exam per day from monday to uh, to, uh, uh, to 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 friday of next week so monday to friday five examinations and monday to friday next week five examinations ten examinations for some people it starts in the uh, on, on a twist day and then they have uh, a couple of days or three days with two two examinations each and one gap in between as well one day completely off depends on the kinds of electives that you uh, take completely but overall the rigor is there because it is a short span of time with a lot of examinations particularly for the MBA batch uh, I won't be able to comment much on how much the pressure is for the other batches because the rigor is less the number of subjects might be less but the difficulty level as I have seen from the from my engineering days but is extremely extremely high so that will conclude the discussion on how the exam schedule is or how the exams are spread out at IIT Kharagpur in particular and uh, how the uh, how the curriculum is at DGS from IIT Kharagpur as well uh, so that was it for today if you like the video like it uh, share it with your friends subscribe to our channel and uh, we would like to conclude here we will be bringing more videos like this uh, that's it thank you very much